Hi everyone, this is Marlo. This is Ren, and you're watching Dinobites. So, Sauralophus is a type of hadrosaur or duckbill dinosaur. Mm -hmm. So, my question is we know that birds evolved from dinosaurs. Does this mean that ducks evolved from duckbill dinosaurs? No. Sauralophus, along with all its duck billed relatives, died out 65 million years ago at the end of the Cretaceous period. And there is no reason to assume that they evolved into ducks because ducks didn't emerge until 23 million years ago. And also scientists know that all birds evolved from a totally different type of dinosaur. Then why are they called duck billed dinosaurs? Well, because hadrosaur skulls had a bill that resembled that of modern ducks. So they ate like ducks then? Well, they might have used the bill as a duck use it today, but unlike ducks, Sauralophus and actually all hadrosaurs had hundreds of teeth located in the cheek area behind the bill, and they used their teeth to chew tough plants. So Sauralophus means lizard crest in Greek, and this is because of the big hollow bony crest that protruded out of the back of its skull. Now I'm sure this crest had some function, but I'm not sure what that was. Well, the crest may have uh, increased the area of the uh, breathing cavity and helped the dinosaur regulate its body temperature. Other scientists think that this was used like a natural megaphone, that the animal could inflate the crest to create honking sounds to communicate with the other members of its social group. And some others even think that the skin on the crest might have uh, changed color uh, as a form of a visual sign. So I've often seen uh, Sauralophus walking on all four limbs, um, but people say that it was able to walk on two. It seems like it was too big to do this. Well, no, like all hadrosaurs, its back legs were longer and stronger than the front legs, so it could have walked on two just as fine. Sauralophus wasn't even one of the largest hadrosaurs, being only the length of two Hummer SUVs and weighing a little more than an adult male hippo. Others were, were much larger. So where did Sauralophus live? Near here in Toronto? <laughs> well, actually not that far away. Uh, lots of fossils have been found in Alberta, Canada, and in Mongolia. Well, that's it for Sauralophus, an interesting dinosaur from an interesting family. Join us next time when we'll be talking about another dinosaur. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If there's an interesting critter from the prehistoric time that you'd like us to cover, please let us know in the comments. Until next time.